Today, our alarm is having a moment. I'm seeing them everywhere right now, and I'm jumping right on that bandwagon with this delicious Dulce de Leche llama cake and macaroon pom-poms. This cake is especially cool because when you slice into it, it reveals these beautiful vertical layers. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. Let me show you how. I'm gonna crack on with my sponge mix so I can get onto the exciting bit, the decorating. I like to use a light vanilla sponge because that rolls really easily, which is what you want for your llama head. So, first I'm just gonna take my eggs and crack them into the mixing bowl, add the sugar, and then we're just gonna mix on high until the eggs and the sugar are light and fluffy. Now my eggs and sugar have tripled in volume, it's ready to add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm just gonna pop in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and my flour and baking powder, about one spoon at a time and fold it in nice and gently. I'm trying to be very careful here not to knock out any of the beautiful volume that I've just worked into the mixture. Great, now this is ready to pour into my prepared Swiss roll baking tins, which have been lined with parchment. So I'm just gonna do this by eye and put half in each of the trays and smooth out the batter all the way to the edge of the corners of the tray. Great, so now these can both go into the oven for about 15 minutes. Now that our cakes are out of the oven, I've let them cool just a little bit so that they're cool enough to touch but not completely cold. And I'm just gonna roll them up in this tea towel. So the first thing you wanna do is just sprinkle a little bit of caster sugar onto the tea towel. And this just prevents the cake from sticking when you unroll it at the end. Now that's about enough. So you just wanna grab one of your cake sheets and very carefully just peel back the greaseproof paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna gently roll up my sponge in a tea towel. And we're doing this while it's warm just so that it doesn't crack. Now I've seen my grandma make a Swiss roll a million times. She's an absolute pro and I will never be as good as her. But the more you make this recipe, the better you get at it. It's all just about being brave and working quickly. Great, I'll do my second one now. So again, I'm just sprinkling a little bit of sugar onto the tea towel to make sure it doesn't stick and roll again. Now these can go off to the side to cool completely and then we can start slicing. Now our cakes are completely cooled. I'm just gonna roll them out and then we can trim round the edges. And just keep going all the way round until you've got a lovely, nice uniform shape. And then this is the fun bit. Slice the cake in half down the long edge. You can just sort of measure it by eye. And then we can start filling. So here I've got some dulce de leche and dried coconut. And you don't have to go right to the edges here because when we roll it up, you don't want it all to splurge out. And then we can sprinkle with our coconut. And don't worry if you spill any at this point, that's what we call a chef's treat. Now we're literally gonna roll one cake on top of the other. And this is what's gonna create those beautiful vertical layers when we slice into our cake. It's so nice to have an unexpected reveal when you cut into a cake. And of course, this one also tastes amazing. This can now be wrapped in cling film and go into the fridge to chill for about two hours. Now our cake is completely chilled, it's time to just add a nice thin layer of buttercream. This is what we call our crumb coat. So I'm just using a spatula to get it on nice and smooth and evenly. So you don't need to be too careful about being tidy because we're gonna cover all of this with the llama's fur. This is just sort of to keep it all intact. Now that can go in the fridge for about half an hour until it's nice and set. While my cake chills, I'm just gonna get going with the facial features. So I'm just gonna lightly dust the surface with icing sugar and then roll out my white fondant until it's quite thin. So I've got a template here that I've printed out and I'm just gonna cut around the edge of it and that will make the actual face of my llama. Now that can just go off to one side and I'm gonna re-roll this white fondant to make my ears. And these can be a little thicker because I'm gonna stick two cocktail sticks in the inside of the ear to hold them up. I'm just gonna go freehand with this. So we sort of want two nice pointy ears. Okay, so that's one. And then I might just cut round this one actually so I make sure that they're exactly the same size. Now we're just gonna take our pink fondant and make two little pink cheeks and the inner pink is. And again, the cheeks can be quite thin because we're gonna just stick them straight onto the buttercream. So I've got a little circle cutter here. And I'm just gonna cut out two cheeks. 
and then re-roll again for the inner ears. And now we can move on to the actual features of the face. So I've got some black candy melts here that I've just warmed in the microwave and I'm gonna do two eyes and then a sort of little snout mouth shape. And now I'm just gonna add a little white dot to the eyes. So our candy melts just need to set for a minute. So while they're doing that, I'm just gonna pop in two cocktail sticks to my ears, just sort of about halfway in because then the rest of the cocktail stick is how we're gonna attach it to the cake and on the other one as well. Now I'm gonna give our llama its face. So I'm gonna take the little face that we made earlier and just stick it onto the cake. Now it should just go on with a little pressure, like so. And I'm now gonna add our two rosy cheeks. And now I can give our llama its fur. I've got a piping bag here fitted with a grass nozzle and the rest of my buttercream. And I'm just gonna pipe the fur all over the llama, starting around the edge of the face so that we get a nice, even outline of the face. Squeeze and pull away. Squeeze and pull away. Now we've all seen the famous unicorn face cakes. It feels like every celebrity and their mother are having them for their birthdays. And I was determined to master one. But it feels like the unicorn has had its day. So I am rolling with a llama. It won't be long before everyone is doing it. Now all that's left to add is our cute little ears. I'm just gonna pop them straight in on each side of the cake and just make sure that you use all of the cocktail sticks so they're nice and firmly in. And just as a finishing flourish, I'm gonna give my llama some bangs. So I'm just gonna pipe a little rosette right at the top here. But this llama is criminally underdressed, so it's time to get going on those macaroon pom-poms. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just combine our sweetened coconut, our flour and our sugar. And we'll just give that a quick mix just to make sure everything is well coated and then we'll add our egg whites. This needs to be stirred quite well, so don't be afraid to use a bit of elbow grease, but you can just keep going until the whole mixture almost looks like wet sand. You want to be able to just sort of like roll the mixture into a ball and then that's what we're looking for. So I'm now gonna split this into six bowls because I wanna make six different colors. I'm going full multicolored rainbow theme here. So I'll just start with my blue. Just make sure that there's no little bits of pale coconut left and that it's all nice and mixed through and then you can move on. We want these to really pop because they're gonna be the headband on our llama cake. So you just wanna take a little sort of hazelnut sized amount and squish it together in your hand and give it a little roll and then just pop it on your baking tray. Back in my baking days, I once had a job where I had to make literally hundreds and hundreds of macaroons for what felt like forever. And I vowed I would never ever make another macaroon again, but this cake was asking for it. So I bent the rules just this once because I honestly think they are the best way to decorate a llama cake. When you're just popping them onto the tray, make sure that you space them out quite well. They won't spread too much in the oven, but they might just puff up a little bit and you just don't want them to touch and get color on the ones next to them or anything. So just give them a little bit of room to grow. And then these can go into the oven for about 15 minutes and then onto a wire rack to cool. Now our macaroons are cooled, we can go pom-pom mad. I'm putting them everywhere because everything looks good on a llama. And now it's time for the big reveal. It came out really well. I can't wait to see what's inside. Wow, that is amazing. Look at those stripes. Mmm, gotta love a llama. If you want to impress your friends with creative confections like this, click here to subscribe to Genius Kitchen.